welcome to pre math in this video we are going to simplify this given rational expression that involves a bunch of radicals and here's our problem in the numerator we got square root of 1 plus square root of 2 all the way to square root of 5 and likewise in the denominator we got 2 times square root of 2 plus square root of 3 plus square root of 4 plus square root of 5 plus square root of 6 plus square root of 8 plus square root of 9 and finally square root of 10. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our action plan. In order to simplify this given problem, we are going to manipulate this uh, denominator part uh, so that it looks much like the numerator. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, denominator. And here I have copied it down. Now let's focus on this 2 times square root 2. I am going to write down as square root of 2 plus square root of 2. And likewise on this side over here, this square root of 9 could be written as 3. As you can see in this next step, I have replaced this 2 times square root of 2 by this square root of 2 plus square root of 2. And likewise on this side, I replace this square root of 9 by 3. And now in this next step, I am going to rearrange these terms. I'm going to move this one at the beginning, square root of 2. I'm going to move it all the way to the very end. As you can see in this next step, I have moved this square root of 2 at the very end over here. And now let's focus on this uh, 3. We are going to tweak it. I'm going to write this one as 1 plus 2. That makes 3. Now I am going to manipulate this 1. 1 could be written as square root of 1. And then plus, uh, I can write this 2 as square root of 2 times square root 2. It doesn't make any difference whatsoever. As you can see in this next step, the only thing I did is I replaced this uh, 3 by this uh, square root of 1 plus square root of 2 times square root of 2. Everything else is same. Now in this next step, uh, we are going to move this uh, square root of 1 all the way to the very beginning. As you can see in this next step where I moved this uh, square root of 1 all the way to the very start. Now if we look very closely we can see that the this first five terms uh, this is uh, square root of 1 plus square root of 2 plus square root of 3 plus square root of 4 plus square root of 5 is same as this uh, numerator. So therefore we are not going to mess with these first five terms and I am going to put them in these parentheses. Now we are going to manipulate these next five terms. Therefore, I have copied down these terms over here. And now let's focus on this very first term, square root of 6. That could be broken down into square root of 2 times square root of 3, isn't it? And now next, this square root of 8 could be written as square root of 2 times square root of 3. 4 and finally this uh, square root of 10 could be written as uh, square root of 2 times uh, square root of uh, 5. So we can write this square root of 6 as a uh, square root of 2 times uh, square root of 3 plus square root of 8. I can write uh, square root of 2 times uh, square root of uh, 4 and I'm going to leave these one as it is. I'm going to just copy them down as it is. Square root of 2 times uh, square root of 2 plus uh, this one square root of 10. I'm going to replace them by square root of 2 times square root of 5. And finally this uh, plus uh, square root of 2. And now we can see square root of 2, square root of 2, square root of 2 square root of 2 and this uh, square root of 2 they are in common. So therefore I'm going to factor out uh, square root of 2 outside and inside the parentheses we are left with this uh, square root of 3 plus uh, square root of 4 plus uh, square root of uh, 2 plus uh, 
square root of 5 and over here once we brought this one outside we are left with just simply 1 so I'm going to write down plus 1 over here now let's go ahead and focus on this uh, 1 we can tweak we can write this one as a square root of 1 it doesn't make any difference whatsoever as you can see in this next step I have uh, replaced this 1 by square root of 1 now in this next step I am going to rearrange these terms inside this parentheses so therefore I can write a square root of 2 is still outside and I'm gonna write down this square root of 1 first and then plus square root of 2 then square root of 3 square root of 4 and plus finally square root of 5 now finally I am going to replace this whole part by this simplified one so let me go ahead and write down these one the very first uh, these first five terms uh, square root of 1 plus uh, square root of 2 plus uh, square root of 3 plus uh, square root of 4 plus square root of 5 and then plus uh, I'm going to replace these one by this so I'm going to write down square root of 2 times again I'm going to write down square root of 1 plus square root of 2 plus all the way to square root of 5 as you can see and now we can see over here these first five terms over here and these first five terms they are same so therefore we can factor them out I'm going to write down square root of 1 plus square root of 2 plus square root of 3 plus square root of 4 plus square root of 5 and inside this uh, parentheses we are going to write down this 1 at the beginning 1 and then plus I'm going to write down this plus square root of 2 now we can see that our this whole denominator has been uh, simplified to this one so therefore we have replaced this whole denominator by this simplified form and the numerator is the same as you can see and now we can see this whole numerator this cancels out with this factor at the denominator so therefore we are left on the numerator just one divided by in the denominator we are left with the 1 plus square root of 2 so finally our this whole expression has been simplified to 1 divided by 1 plus square root of 2 and here's our next step let's focus on this part and here I have copied it down now we are going to rationalize its denominator by multiplying and dividing by its conjugate which is 1 minus square root of 2 and I'm going to divide by 1 minus square root of 2 as well let's go ahead and multiply the numerators on the top and at the denominators as well when we multiply at the top that is going to give us 1 minus square root of 2 divided by now let's recall this identity a plus b times a minus b we are going to apply it at the denominator so the denominator could be written as 1 square minus square root of 2 whole square and now we can see that this denominator has been simplified to negative 1 as you can see over here and now let's focus on this numerator if I can factor out negative 1 this could be written as a square root of 2 and then minus 1 divided by this denominator I'm going to replace it by simplified value which is a negative one and now we can see this negative one and negative one they are gone therefore this whole thing has been simplified to square root of 2 minus 1 and that's our answer so thus our simplified answer turns out to be square root of 2 minus 1 thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye